What's going on guys, it's Peyton Fisher and I'm gonna walk you through an entire house where we are going to do a bid from the outside, from stucco, uh, repairing windows, roofing, landscaping, RV pad, everything on the outside all the way through the inside from drywall, new framing, different size closets, and everything uh, completely redone, including the kitchen. So I'm gonna turn you around here and we're gonna get started. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna be looking at here is our metal iron gate. We wanna put a six foot metal gate here to cover up the trash cans on this side. As we come over here, we're gonna have an entire patio built in and we want a privacy fence 20 feet long uh, gate here with some uh, ideas on decorations. The fencing here, and then we need a, a 20 foot gate, 16 foot with a four foot small gate there that way we can have the doorway and then a large large gate for the rv to be able to come through all of this will be tore out and there will be either crushed uh, granite rock here with a big rv pad in the back and then up here on the front we're going to be taking out the beautiful half moon shaped window that's going to be stuccoed over and then on the stucco side this is an older, really thick, heavy-duty uh, texture. We want to, for our, our stucco guy, for him to smooth this out completely, take all of these bull nose, uh, square all of these up on the entire house. Uh, the octagon, we would like a square on that and a square on that one also, and another one on the back. The stucco guy, just keep watching. You'll see the whole entire house. This is about a 1,700-square-foot house. Uh, the roof... We want the whole roof tore off. We're gonna be putting a shingle roof all the way around and we'll snap to some drone shots here of the roof right now. Uh, all of this will be pavers for the landscape guy. It is approximately 20 feet wide by 18 feet uh, deep uh estimated just so we're we're getting an idea here now as we come over here on the side we're gonna have a 20 foot wide by 40 foot long concrete pad pull some of this dirt over uh, so this will be the first spot of the concrete and as we come around the back concrete will be all the way up next to the house here all of the bushes will be removed uh, new landscaping throughout the back and as we look come over here on the stucco is all of this will be smooth we want to square the vent off make it just nice and clean same thing we want to get rid of all the bull noses on the windows square that off uh, remember all the landscaping will be pulled out um, and then we'll have another big concrete pad over here we don't know how big that one's going to be yet so we can't tell you exactly here uh, but across the back here, this will be all smooth stucco again. There'll most likely be a big slider here that that will be tore out. Okay, and then for the concrete, we've got at least another 8 to 10 feet here. This will be a full motorized awning on the top here. This awning back here will be about 10 feet. 10 feet wide by about 32 to 35 feet long depending on how the bid looks how it will uh, how it will attach then we can decide what we want to do there so for our stucco guy if we can make these smaller we can cut these down she'd like them cut down and still squared uh, to match all of the square everything else that's going to be put in um, this will be tore out like i said and have a slider here and then this is all going to be framed in here will be framed in, and this will be the inside of the kitchen. This is all going to be framed in here. This will be the whole kitchen wall right here. This, if we can, we're going to go up in the attic in just a few minutes uh, and get some photos for the engineer. We're going to try to tear that whole thing out. This will all be pulled out, and it will uh, it will be part of the kitchen. That This whole area will be walled off kitchen. This is the west-facing side, so we've got the sunscreens. It's, it gets super hot on this side. Uh, all flat here, squared off up here. All the landscaping here will be all pulled out to make it nice and clean, get new landscaping. And you can see the stucco is the same all the way around. Uh, we want this to be all nice and smooth. As we come around the front here, hello. This is where the, 
the gate will go right here, six feet wide and tall enough to cover the trash cans. All right, as we come up to the front of the house, we're gonna be putting in a double door here, as wide as we can and get as much light as possible inside this front door. Uh, I believe this is a seven foot tall door. Stucco, we're gonna obviously wipe this out and then everything will just be nice, clean and square all the way up into here. Everything nice and squared and smooth. All right, as we come inside, oh, I locked the door. Oh, well, magically opened. Okay, so as we stand in here, the first thing is gonna happen is this entire kitchen standing area is all gonna be completely deleted. Everything will be completely removed. This closet will be bumped out about a foot, giving much more room here on the inside. Okay, and as we come into the living room, we've got kitchen on the right. This whole wall will be completely demoed out. We're gonna go, uh, this fireplace and shiplap will be staying. Everything in the house will get a new texture. Everything will be smoothed out, uh, much softer textures. And we're gonna go this way first. We're gonna go to the left, to the first bedroom, and show you the uniqueness of this. So this ceiling, we don't know yet if we're gonna be able to bump this ceiling to make it vaulted, but we think there is a good chance because this is all the way vaulted back here. We're gonna completely eliminate that half moon window to take out the retro 90s. And in just a few minutes, we'll know if we can move the HVAC to the side, push this up, maybe put a fan in here, make it much, much bigger in this room. And then as we come out to bedroom number two, uh, all of this will just be a smooth, we don't want the orange peel walls anymore. And we don't want this heavy uh, texture on the ceiling. So it is all gonna be smoothed out. This room will stay pretty much the same other than new flooring, new textures on the walls and new paint. As we come into the bathroom here, we're gonna be getting new a full new area. If you can kind of see here, this is it's really low. Like I can literally put my hand down on this here about 32 inches. We're going to bring this up to 36 inches in the bathroom here. And then we most likely we're going to have a bigger soaker tub in here, which will result in tile, uh, potentially up to the ceiling, depending on where we're at and definitely new flooring here also. So as we come here, this double door, when they open this, it's actually only 24 inches, so it's super tiny. So what we're going to do is at least a 32, maybe a 36 inch door, nice and big for them to be able to access this. So that way this isn't here. We're going to take this closet here. Now it actually does this diagonal triangle thing all the way back into here, and I'll show you what goes on there. What's going to happen is this closet's going to be bumped out about a foot, giving them a lot more storage here. And on this side, when I turn around... They have this really interesting octagon feel where the wall is here and the wall is here. And so what's going to happen is we're going to take that TV stand out and this, this wall right here will be bumped out, giving you a lot more space when you put your bed here or closer, bigger nightstand. This is just dead space. So this will be completely eliminated. This closet will be bumped out and this door will be gone. And as we come into the master bathroom, we are going to be putting in a double head shower here. So they're in here right now, there's just one shower head. It's actually a, a pretty decent sized shower and it's pretty bright in here. We're gonna plumb another shower head here so that way there can be a double shower in there. And then this potentially still up in the air, this will have all new tile here all new tile floor and the same as we're getting into brand new vanity it's going to be a double vanity 36 inches tall right now this one is also really short this house was made for little people uh, and in here in the master closet uh, same thing we're just going to smooth out the ceilings here make it uh, match all the way throughout the house we're going to be tearing off all the uh, casing much nicer, bigger baseboards, really make this home look a lot more modern. All right, and as we come back out to the kitchen, the way that this is gonna work is this closet will be ripped out 
and pulled about a foot and a half this way. And then they're going to be putting their piano against this wall. It's a really old piano, so it can't be on an exterior wall. So this will all be ripped out. Piano will go here. Uh, maybe some shelving. Haven't decided quite yet what's going to happen here. Uh, this is where it gets fun. Is This is the kitchen right now. Completely all eliminated, deleted out of here. So you can see literally over. This was really popular in the 90s. Uh, most likely we'll be putting in uh, several more can lights uh, up here through the ceiling. And all of this wall right here will be completely deleted out where those uh, folks are standing out right here. We'll have, and then let me back up here. We'll have a big island right here. And there'll be the stove, uh, fridge, full wall of cabinets, uh, fridge, and freezer, and the dishwasher and microwave will be right here in the island. And so that's the plans as of right now. It just depends on what the engineer says with this. All right, in the kitchen here, these two windows will be completely eliminated. And up here, we want a really tall window that way. Uh, it can bring in lots of light. There won't be the stove and uh, lots of countertop space here. The sink will be over here in the island, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, yeah, so those will both be eliminated. And then as we turn to the right here, uh, when we go from the garage, immediately we have a little mudroom here that we're going to have a built-in all the way up. This will be a little bench, a mudroom in here with some hooks. And the washer and dryer will stay in here. New cabinets above here also. And we're most likely going to be building in a pocket door. Uh, that way they can close this off so you don't have to hear the washer and dryer going um, in the other room. Inside the garage... Uh, we'll be fixing just these uh, little normal cracks. Almost every garage that I've ever been in has those. And then we've got the access right here. All right, heading up into the attic. We're going to be looking for two things up here. First is the vaulted room, and second is the kitchen to see how that is put together. So let's go see if we can figure out our way over there. Okay, so this is the vault area right there. And then when we look down here, we've got a 2 by 8 what looks like, stud that's holding up this entire roof right here. There's no way without massive structural changes. Correct, we can't see nothing. What we're going to do is I'm going to shoot a fish up through the ceiling and see if Christian can find it so we have a better idea of where we're at up here. Punching this little hole right here. Okay, so that we're a foot in from there. We are now back at the office, starting to get all the bids put together for this project. If you have any questions, comments, or you're just excited to follow along, go ahead, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next video.